<laughs> so I could tell my parents, hey, it's not only the criminal <laughs> record I am <laughs> building, but I'm also building a career. <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Peter and I'm on the Art House Show. Today we are talking with the director of the world's biggest street art museum coming up next year. Give a warm welcome to Peter Ernst Pauline. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, welcome to the Art House Show. Thank you. You have to first um, tell us a little bit what what, what is it that you're doing? You're building this giant museum. About two years ago, I was asked by the NDSM uh, organization if I could organize a street art festival, yeah. which I said yes to. And um, uh, in prep preparing the festival, I met uh, this guy who had this huge building and uh, he asked me, hey, you're the street art guy. I said, yeah. <laughs> The street art guy. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for somebody who, is, who can, you know, make some artworks to decorate my space. And it was a huge 7,000 square meter space. The walls are 24 meters high. It's insane. And so I was really happy that he asked me because first we were going to paint on the walls, but now we were painting on wooden panels uh, that he sponsored and he sponsored some paint. And it was actually just the idea to make 10 artworks to decorate his space. And but when we made the artworks and the next day we hang them there, they were quite big. Actually, what we thought were like three meters by five meter wooden panels. Yeah. And But when you hang them on the wall, that's 24 meters high <laughs> and 100 tiny. meters long. It looked like a postcard. <laughs> yeah. It didn't make any sense. So that was the start of, uh, of our collaboration. Um, I immediately proposed that we should make bigger artworks and he immediately agreed. And end of the conversation we had, at the end of the day, he just gave me the key to the space and he said, well, go ahead and um, I will be popping by every now and then to see what you did. <laughs> and uh, that's how it started. Wow. Uh, what's the opening date? Summer 2018. Summer 2018. Yes. So there's not a specific date or not month? Yet, not, not yet. yet. Uh, right. We're looking at the major renovation of the roof. The owner of the building has to renovate it first mm -hmm. to make it, you know, uh, airtight, watertight and all that <laughs> stuff. And, uh, and then when it's renovated, we can start um, uh, laying out the exhibition. Yes. And we already started two years ago with creating artwork. So today we have uh, more than 100, 100 20 almost uh, artworks from yes. artists from all over the planet, uh, from every continent. And um, yeah, when we open, I think we will have probably 150 and I'm aiming for 200 artworks. Wow. Yep. How did you get into it? Like, have you done, are you, have you been or are you an artist yourself? Or how did you get so caught into yeah, to, I, I, how did you become the street art guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, in the beginning of the 80s, uh, grandpa's gonna tell you a story kids yeah in the beginning of the 80s uh there was this uh documentary uh, called star wars and it was aired yes. on dutch national television mm. and that was uh, for me and a lot of kids uh around that time it was a starting point of mm. of something you know that we all were we we, we immediately were caught by this virus mm. that's that uh, oozes from that documentary. And uh, so then I started to draw graffiti. I started to, uh, uh, a little time later, I started to, you know, grab some cans and uh, start spraying on the street. And within a couple of years, I had some commissions. Suddenly I was still in high school and I got some really great commissions and I made some money with it as well which oh, was wow. great yeah. <laughs> so I could tell my parents hey it's not only the criminal <laughs> record I am <laughs> building but I'm also building a career <laughs> yeah. um, so that's that's basically how it started and it, it, I, I over time I developed into an organizer and started organizing events inviting artists to come to Amsterdam to mm. paint mm. Mm. and um, yeah and I started a gallery and after the gallery this museum okay. yeah so you already started uh, collecting the artworks for the museum right yes yeah so are there any artists out there that you 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 really want to have that you haven't sort of caught yet yes yes mm. uh, there's a big list of artists that 
I want to have. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to tell you who. Uh, because no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you about what we uh, who who already contributed because yeah. all the artworks were made especially for the museum. Um, so. Um, uh, we have great work from Dutch artists like uh, Ilko van der Berg, uh, Telmo Miel, uh, Karski and beyond. Um, but also on the international level, artists like uh, uh, Hoxo, uh, Mark Meling, uh, Inky. Uh, I, the, the list goes on and on. There's 100 artists. Yeah. Um, David Walker, um, uh, Milou Koresh. Uh, yep. Yeah, well. I don't know them all by heart, I'm sorry. Yeah. You, you caught me a little <laughs> bit by surprise here, but there's a long list there's of long list. more than yeah. 100 yeah. artists. Yeah. 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 So you you have been like you've been from that movie, the Star Wars movie, and that now you're seeing how where the street art is today. What do you see in the future? It's a relatively young uh, art form, so it's been around for a couple of decades. And still there's a lot of development going on. What, what we saw in recent years is that, okay, uh, production has got more professional. Uh, uh, people have a wider interest in street art and graffiti. And what we see is also that a lot of the big uh, renowned museums also have a street art in their collection or work by street artists. And um, so I think we have, with the museum, we also try to to reinvent the museum, mm -hmm. uh, the modern art museum. But what is it exactly the, in your eyes that makes a great artist? Um, the, the, for me, a great artist, it's, it's a matter of quality, of course, in the artwork and in, in the skill. It's a matter of uh, a, a proven track records in the streets. Mm -hmm. That's what's important to me. And what I think is a great artist is an artist that also uh, tries to convey a message in his work. Mm -hmm. I think that's an essential part of the collection as well. So uh, for any of the younger generation that are starting out there, they're trying to build their identity and getting into the market. Um, what would they need to do in order to maybe participate in one of your festival or your events or one day end up in your museum? Uh, shoot me a message. How is that going to be contemporary and how is it? Yeah, it's it's not going to be white walls and uh, and uh, and uh, and the clean floor. So it's it's going to be something different than that. I don't want to give away too much of it yet. Um, but it's it's going to be you can participate uh, in in uh, shaping the museum. You, when you are there, you can uh, uh, see artists at work, you know, creating the work for the museum. So that's what some uh, part of the process that you normally don't see. What what sort of tips do you have for for the younger people today um, that want to you know that aspire to 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 people that are in your museum. Go out, paint, 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 paint. Um, of course, you get you get skill from illegal painting. It, it puts you in, in situations and, and, uh, uh, and circumstances that are really difficult to paint in and to be able to still deliver and uh, be able to put up high quality artwork. Mm -hmm. It's a skill that you cannot practice in your studio or on a legal wall. Yeah. Have you gotten any comments uh, or any um, sort of feedback about, because there's a lot of rules and regulation and politics within, you know, that street art movement. Mm -hmm. So just to put your work on a canvas seems to be uh, something that's that's a little bit tricky to do, um, to get yeah, accepted. If it, if it and now yeah. there's, there's a museum. Yeah. How are people responding to it? 99% um, is stoked, absolutely stoked. Okay. Everybody's like, wow. Um, and of course, there's always the, uh, the people that say, hmm, sweetheart, it belongs on the street. But yeah, okay, I agree to a certain point. Um, uh, to give you an idea, we're not really a traditional museum. The canvases we show, I mean, the smallest canvas is even bigger than the Night Watch by Rembrandt. And so we have paintings that are 12 meters high, and um, uh, we have paintings that are 30 meters wide. This is this is this is actually wall size paintings. Okay, it's painted on the canvas, um, but on the other side also, I mean, the the museum is is like as raw as you can get it for a yeah. museum. We have the outside walls, which are uh, at the moment uh, legal walls to paint in Amsterdam. So people, this is, I think, 
to my knowledge, it's the only museum where you can just come with your friends and your paint and paint the outside of the museum. And it's for all ages? It's for all ages, yeah. yes. <laughs> um, every genre of art history, they have sort of a person that represents every genre. Who do you think is the person that people are going to think about, you know, in the future when they think of the street arts movement? Um, well... Except for Peter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, uh, well, the, the, the first thing that comes up is, of course, Banksy. Yeah. I mean, this, this is a household name. Everybody knows him. Mm -hmm. But you started as a graffiti artist yep. and you moved to this. Do you think graffiti is um, an art form that will be remembered and go into, you know, the history of art? And do you think graffiti has sort of a name a certain artist that's going to go down in the books. Yeah, um, I think graffiti should be remembered because it played a key role in the lives of so many of my generation and still does. Um, and yeah, well, names that come up are also the list is endless. Yeah. But for me, top and, two. Okay, uh, let's say scene and crash. There you go. What what makes you tick? Um, yeah, it's 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 the well the opportunity. It's it's to work with great artists is uh, is is a pure gift. I mean, I cannot say anything else about it. Um, the the exchanges that we have, the talks, um, it's uh, uh, it's 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 more than. I mean, for me, it's now my, my, my work, my job, mm -hmm. but it's it's way beyond work or yeah. um, it's, it's a, uh, yeah. Do you think social media is an important aspect of the art today? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I started, there was nothing. So how we got inspiration was mainly through the network of other graffiti artists. Mm -hmm. So uh, one guy has a black book, uh, another guy... Uh, was able to photocopy some of the, that work mm. and these photocopies get copied and copied and copied <laughs> and they found their way and it was amazing because uh, through that network we yeah. were exchanging um, uh, ideas and, yes. and um, is there a particular trend that you see nowadays within the art scene or street art scene uh, I see a trend in female female portraits female there's a, portrait. a lot of female portraits yeah. Yeah. A, lot, a, lot, a lot a lot come visit the museum Come and visit the museum. Summer 2018, Amsterdam. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time out yep. to come and, My and, and be on our show. And for everybody watching, remember, be different, be you. Until next time. Bye. <laughs> Great. That was good. Thank you so Thank much, you Peter.